good morning it's another day in la it's currently actually 11 so it's not really morning but i'm sitting here in front of the most beautiful view ever we just drove up to the grub to do some shopping and we're also going to go to the apple store we just drove up to this parking lot and the view is so pretty i don't think i've ever seen la from this kind of view. I don't know if my voice sounds weird but I think the AC in our hotel room did something to my throat because I woke up feeling like I couldn't even speak like my throat was so dry so I think we had a little bit too much AC. But yeah anyways at the Apple store uh, we're gonna get some Apple watches for a few people and then we're also gonna see if we can upgrade my boyfriend's iPhone 13 Pro Max to an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I did upgrade to a 14 Pro Max because I had the 12 Pro Max so it was kind of like a big upgrade but he, he wasn't sure if he wanted to upgrade since he does have the iPhone 13 Pro Max so you know it's not gonna be as big of an upgrade for him but we wanted to check out what it would cost to trade in his iPhone because 13 Pro Max is in perfect condition. I got it for him for Christmas last year so it's not even a year old. It doesn't have like any scratches or anything so yeah we're gonna check out and see if we can actually do that and maybe even take home the new phone today. I don't really know how it works with Apple tradings. I've never traded in an iPhone before so yeah let's head in to the Apple store. So cool. Okay, so we're currently just calling everyone to kind of see which Apple Watch they want over there. Uh, but it's the prices are surprisingly good here because in Sweden the Apple Watch, like the cheapest one, starts at like 500, and here it's 3.99 for the Apple Watch Series 8. But I'm just looking at all the Apple Watch bands because I kind of want to get a new one for my Apple Watch. Um, I currently have the Series 4. I did have the Series 5 as well, but I gave it to you. But I'm really, really obsessed with all like beige bands. So this is one I have, um, which I really like the color, but I, I just want to get a non-silicone Apple Watch band. Maybe like this one. I really like this. Oh my gosh, how cute this is. This would totally also match my outfit right now. Like, that's really cute. I feel like these look really aesthetic. They also have it in black. I don't think I've ever seen this band in an Apple store, but it has like little air holes all over it. It's pretty cool. But also, this Apple Watch is so big. I think this is, yeah, it's the Apple Watch Ultra on my wrist. And like, it takes up my whole wrist. That's so funny. <laughs> it's actually 49 millimeters, so that kind of explains why it looks so big on me. <laughs> but it's really cool. Feels really like durable. Okay, so we just checked how much it would be to trade in the iPhone 30 Pro Max, and it would be for 49. So we're trying to determine if it's worth it. I don't know. I did not know that the iPhone 14 Plus came in red where it's like a super bright red I wonder if anyone actually gets the iPhone in red because I just feel like for me at least personally I, I don't know I wouldn't really want it in 
red, but I get that. It's it's a super cool iPhone. It's honestly a super cool color. It's just very bold and bright. So I don't know. Does anyone have the iPhone 14 in red or just an iPhone in red? But this color is so pretty. It's like a lavender, really light purple. Really pretty. I really wish I had the 14 Pro Max in this color. Okay, so we did decide to get the iPhone, but we need to check if they actually can take his phone right now since we kind of need it and need to trade it in today since we're leaving LA soon. The thing is, I only want to get it mm -hmm. if I can trade in my iPhone today. Is okay. That, can it work? Um, it can, it's just the fact that we don't have it in stock. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Thank you. No, no. So, unfortunately, they didn't have the iPhone 14 at that Apple store. But I just want to take a break and show you guys my phone grip. So, this is the EasyFly dual sided MagSafe phone grip from a brand called Andabil. And thank you so much, Andabil, for sponsoring this video. Since it's dual sided magnetic, it attaches to metal objects such as a fridge, car, and it also comes with these magnetic sheets that you can put up in places you often put your phone. You can put this magnetic sheet up on the wall and have your phone sticking to the wall. It's really really cool. Also I think having this on the back of your phone just makes it so much easier to hold your phone because you can stick your finger into the little ring holder. It makes it so much more secure and it looks really really cute. It comes in a bunch of different colors so you can pick the one that best fits your aesthetic. You can match it with your phone case. It's compatible with any phone and any phone case. Even if you don't have MagSafe compatible phone or phone case, you get these little magnetic rings with it. They can attach to the phone case, but once you attach the ring to it, you can then attach the phone grip and it's really really secure. Let me tell you, the magnet is so 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 strong. There is no chance it is gonna fall off. Really really sturdy. You can also rotate this 360 degrees and tilt it 125 degrees. So you can also use it as a phone stand for watching YouTube videos or playing games. And right now for Christmas, Annabelle is running a Christmas marketing campaign called MagLife with Annabelle EasyFly. And if you want to participate, you can win a free phone grip and they also have a really generous prize. So check out the link in the description for more details and to check out this phone grip. All right, and now back to the vlog. <laughs> Okay. Now turn right onto Santa Monica Boulevard. All right, so they didn't have the iPhone 14 Pro Max in stock at that Apple store. So now we're at another mall. Uh, we just drove like 30 minutes to another mall, and we're gonna go to another Apple store where they're supposed to have it. So it turns out the other Apple store didn't have the iPhone either and it was pretty funny because they sent us back to the original Apple store we went to that told us to go to the second one. So I don't know what that was about. <laughs> we also watched the sunset at Santa Monica and it was really pretty. Yes, it was.
Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alright, good morning. It's the next day and I just thought I would do a little haul of what we got yesterday because I didn't show you guys. So, first of all, um, well, yeah, let's start with Bath & Body Works. Um, I didn't want to get too much because Black Friday is coming up, but my boyfriend did get a lot of stuff. So, he got like the whole noir series of like the cleansing bar, body spray, body lotion and hand sanitizers. This whole series is like the best smelling series in Bath & Body Works for men. So if you're looking for like a Christmas gift for your boyfriend or like any guy, the Bath & Body Works Noir, it's it's so good. Um, also love the Christmas vibes we got going on here. <laughs> um, he also ended up getting like the whole makeup bag. No, it's not a makeup bag. It's like a toiletry bag, I guess. <laughs> um, and then on Paxson, I ended up getting a pair of jeans, but I really like them. They fit me very well. I feel like all jeans in Sweden are a little bit too long for me because I'm really short. Um, and if you watch the movie like Tall Girl, it's about a girl from Sweden that's like really tall. And apparently that's like a stereotype about Sweden that people are tall in Sweden. And I haven't really thought about it, but then I realized yesterday that it's so much easier for me to find good jeans here in the US because the jeans are generally a little bit shorter. So I don't know, maybe it is actually true. Um, and then he also got some a bunch of like Uniqlo t-shirts. Apparently they're like super comfy or something. Uniqlo U Arism oversized t-shirts. They're the best t-shirts on, on the market right now. Yeah. A great tip if you're looking for a Christmas gift for a guy. <laughs> yeah, this was basically a boyfriend haul, but but right now we're gonna head to what's it called? Glendale. Go to another Apple store because we're not giving up on this iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I feel like Apple doesn't really have they don't really know their iPhone 14 stock because they just send us to like different Apple stores where they told us there should be an iPhone 14, but then there weren't any. So we're just gonna go to this one and see um, if they might have any iPhone 14s. <laughs> the and long, long Let me know in comments when you start listening to Christmas music because usually I just started in December because I don't want to get tired of the Christmas music, but this year I started in like early November, so we were blasting Christmas music um, all the way here, um, and it's really funny because in LA I feel like you don't really get Christmas vibes unless you actually listen to Christmas music and like go to like these malls where they have a bunch of Christmas decorations. But in Sweden, you kind of get Christmas vibes just from the weather because it snows in like November. It's just like really cold and you, yeah. <laughs> Apple store and now it's sold out literally everywhere in LA, uh, both the Pro Max and Pro. Ooh. 